it was just terrible. I, I was a, a full-blown heroin addict. Um, I, I was a, a, a criminal, a, a serious criminal as well, doing serious things wrong. Uh, I, I, I had really bad mental health issues. Uh, I, I was just a total lost soul. Well, my, da my dad, my, my dad was a, an armed robber. Uh, my mum's a school teacher, um, but my dad, my dad expected me to act like him, and uh, and and that's what happened. I, I've done all sorts of sentences uh, for all sorts of things. Um, I got equivalent to ten years uh, in prison uh, for uh, a conspiracy to uh, supply heroin. Um, so yeah, and I did nearly seven years out out of that. Um, 10 year sentence. Yeah, I, I did my, got my first prison sentence when I, when I was 16 uh, uh, for fighting. I went to a Young Offenders Institute for four months. That was my first prison sentence for violence. I've tried and tried and tried to, to, to break all the heroin habits, the drug habits, the, the prison life, the criminality. You know, I've tried and tried and, and I, I, I just couldn't do it. And I couldn't even start it really. My life had gone that bad. And I was in I was in old prison in the segregation unit and I was absolutely lost. Everybody were, hated me or, or pitied me because I developed bad psychiatric problems. I was absolutely lost. I, I was crying, I was distraught. And, uh, and and I thought I was going to be away for the rest of my life. They were either going to section me in a mental health institute or uh, 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 lock me up for a long, long period of time. And I and I was I was a mess. I was a wreck. But then all of a sudden, I started singing. I was in it. I was in a cell in the segregation unit, really, really worried because I had a a lad was in a in a coma because I'd, I'd, I'd had a fight with him. I'd assaulted this lad and he was in a coma on a life support machine. And and uh, and, and I was a mess, you, you know, I was a wreck. But God just came and and made, I started singing. I, I started like something, a spirit, God, Jesus, took hold of me and, and, um, and said, listen, you're gonna be all right. Don't worry, I've got your back. And uh, yeah, and wow, that that's the, the I've, that's an encounter that's I can't even talk about it properly because I'm feeling like crying. But yeah, yeah, wow, uh, Jesus completely transforms your life. Yeah, and and it is. It's amazing and it's it's miraculous. Almost people can't believe it, but but yeah, that's it's, it, I feel that some. I feel that God has just completely took over my life, uh, and and now I'm 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 sort of uh, it's hard to explain. I, I'm not I'm not a robot, but but he's he's just making everything all right. He's just making everything. He's making me happy every day. He's making me love people. He's sorting my relationships out. Uh, uh, no more criminality. Uh, uh, every, everything bad in my life has just completely stopped and gone. Everybody else was scared of me. Everybody was 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 scared of me. I had a really bad reputation, you, you know, in and around Doncaster. You, you know, you know, I was just a, a, a bad person through and through. Um, but but now, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah, that it, that's he's the only way.